Hello, my gorgeous Alphayukas, and welcome to your weekly energy check-in reading. We are just going to jump right in and get started. Okay, so pre-shuffle. Um, I hear the story before the story. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse, Moon in the upright. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Wands. So... I do feel like this is a past situation that is cropping back up in the beginning of the reading. I feel like Spirit just says this is a side note. This is a point that we have to kind of look into for the possibility of this week. I feel like somebody wants to come out of the cold with you. I do feel like it's someone that you stopped nurturing. So that could be a hint if you're not sure who this person is. They do want to come forth passionately and they want to... Um, tell you how they're feeling about you. I feel like there were quite a few secrets in this situation. And I feel like another thing that's being held a secret is you're not going to see this person coming. I feel like they're really going to be quite a surprise when they do come in this week. Um, I feel like they weren't ready in the past to really express themselves or express their feelings or give to you or a connection with you. But um, it's like now they're ready and they want to come back around. As always, Ophiuchus, it is entirely up to you whether or not you choose to entertain this. Um, but I am just going to let you know what could possibly be coming in for you. Uh, yeah, I hear don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I know sometimes we don't want to hear about the past, but the past uh, does like to crop back up here and there, right? All right. Let's see. I feel like this is something. All right. We have the sun in reverse. So happy, but not the happiest we could possibly be or someone coming in towards you. Let's see. All right. I hear things coming full circle. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody is coming towards you off you guess. I feel like this is somebody that wants to give you a stable offer. Um, and I feel like now this could be a coming back around. So it could be a past person. This could be a newer person that sees, um, that they could build with you. I feel like I really like this. I am kind of getting the tower burp. So there could be some type of past situation, uh, for some of you, and it could have been sour in the past. Um, I feel like this person just knows they could be happier if they had you off of you guess. So let's see. Yeah. I, I almost feel like maybe you walked out of this person's life and they're not quite certain. Yeah. Um, I feel like they already know they want to choose you, but I feel like they figured it out maybe a little too late or in their mind, they figured it out a little too late. Um, I do feel like they're realizing that their ships just aren't coming in. You're not coming back around. You're not chasing this person. You might have been offering. You might have been the one offering in the past. And I feel like you stopped giving to this. I feel like you made the choice. Um, and I feel like maybe it was a really difficult choice. I feel like in your mind and in your heart, you probably still really liked this person or really wanted the opportunity with this person. But I feel like you made the very logical choice to move in a new direction. And then here comes that opportunity because this person realizes that they're missing out. Um, so that's for some. For others, I do feel like this is a newer person coming in. And, um, they really want to nurture something with you. They really want to get it off the ground. I think they feel like their life is just kind of like on hold. I feel like they've made a decision to step in your direction because they see that you could be somebody they could build with. For some of you, there is a past to this situation. There could have been harsh words or a falling out at the end of the first go around with this person. I feel like it's all because they weren't offering you a cup of emotion. And I feel like that's literally all you are asking for. Just let me know that there's something more than just the way you see my body or just the way... Um, you know, you think you can get ahead being in my energy. It's, it's, it kind of feels like that. I feel like this person was maybe hopping around, being a body hopper, going from person to person. Um, I feel like they've kind of come out of that healing process. I feel like, you know, I feel like this person really liked you, but I also feel like they were giving to other situations. It doesn't have to be other people, although it could be. Um, you would know, you know, whatever fits in your situation. But I do feel like 
It could have been responsibilities. It could have been work. It could have been this person was overly obsessed with work. Um, I do feel like this person also, you know, with that King of Cups in the upright, they have a depth of emotion, but they're not sharing it. Um, yeah, look, with that coupled with that King of Swords, so they're being very logical. They're making strategic moves. Um, they're not really showing their hand or showing their heart basically. Um, and I feel like this is you off of you guys. I feel like you're in your queen of cups. You are ready to share. Um, I feel like for those of you where this is a newer situation and there's not really a past to this, I feel like this person is really trying to get logical, trying to get strategic, trying not to show too much of emotion going on here. They don't want you to know how invested they really want to be off the bat. I feel like this person just doesn't want to scare you off, which I like. I feel like it's okay to kind of hold back just a little bit and, you know, play some cards close to your chest if you're a little nervous. I feel like that's fine. Um, I feel like this person doesn't want to be single anymore. Um, and I feel like their life has been on hold. So whether it's a new person or an old person, I do feel like this person has felt like there's not been any forward movement or, um, any passionate move it, movement forward in their life. I feel like, I don't know if they're ju they've just been waiting for a soulmate or waiting for someone like you. Yeah, look at that. Well, they know what they want, so we'll give them that. They really do know what they want. I feel like maybe they put themselves in this hanged man position because they weren't, I guess they just maybe wanted to wait to get more, um, information or to feel more illuminated about the situation itself when it comes to you and this person. Yeah, they could have been suffering some anxieties, some sleepless nights, a little bit of confusion as to maybe what they wanted in their world. I feel like, you know, it can be a lot when you feel this connection, this type of soulmate connection. I feel like it was just whether or not this person wanted to step into their king of pentacles and actually nurture this situation, actually give it a solid foundation to build upon. So it's like, I feel like you were offering that and maybe you pulled back um like I said for some of you this is a brand new person I when I say brand new I mean somebody that you haven't dated before this could have been somebody maybe that you work with or somebody that was I don't know maybe lives close by in the same friend group on the outskirts of the friend group you know whatever it's going to differ for everybody but or somebody that you've seen around so but somebody you know of right? But it doesn't have to be somebody you had uh, a full-blown relationship with or an intimate whatever with. I feel like, um, but I do feel like this would be a newer person to you. Yeah, I feel like maybe this person was getting out of something else. Maybe they were just having fun for a while, jumping around, seeing what was out there, you know, getting rid of that. Um, I guess trying to heal up in a way is what I want to say. I do kind of get the feeling that this person was maybe body hopping, trying to find something that would kind of fulfill them until they could fill up themselves. Not, not the best way to do things, but I feel like, you know, it's a human way to deal with things sometimes. Um, yeah, I do feel like this person came from a tower. I feel like they came from that tower. They did some healing work. They realized there's still more to be had out there. They realized they have all the tools necessary to make this come in. I feel like this person is extremely sexually attracted to you. Um, maybe that's another reason they maybe held back because maybe it felt a little dangerous or, um, you know... Yeah, I, I feel like this is how they see you. Queen of Cups, Empress Energy. Um, I feel like this person may have been going off in search of someone like you, someone to fill that emotional cup. Like I said, I did kind of get the feeling that this person maybe was having a hard time filling their emotional cup on their own. Um, I feel like maybe they have by now, but... The, Boy, are they coming in passionately. But at least they're coming in passionately, but they kind of want something very secure and very stable. Like I said, I feel like this person's playing their cards close to their chest. I feel like they want a whole lot more with you and they're willing to fight for it. I really love that. I feel, Yeah, they're not willing to speak their truth straight off the bat, but they do want victory in this situation. Like I said, they're playing their cards close to their chest. So you might not get everything right off the bat. Um, you might be a little unsure. You might get a very small offer in the beginning. Um, I feel like because they're waiting for a disaster. This is someone who's been through things in the past. Um, so whether it was a past with you or a past with someone else, you know, they're just kind of trying to be cautious. Um, they want to bring that love 
up to the surface again and give it another go with that judgment here. Um, and I feel like they really want to get out of their head. Yeah, because they do ultimately want something very secure with that Ten of Pentacles. Okay, off you guys. Seems like a good read. I feel like for the next seven days, I feel like you do have the opportunity. I feel like for two different people to come in, I feel like the very beginning person might have been something, somebody different. Um, and then this person might be somebody, uh, I feel like there could, this could be like workplace for a lot of you. It doesn't have to be, but I am kind of feeling workplace. Um, it looks good though. Like I said, I feel like both of these situations kind of felt really promising. So, you know, it is always up to you, off you guys. Um, just because I've said it doesn't mean that you have to jump into it. Always, always, always use your discernment. You know, feel it out for yourself. We have a G that kind of rolled away. It could be for somebody. This could have been somebody that left your life and came back. Could have a G, first or last name. I do hear the name Brian, also the name Bill, and I want to say Billy. I hear the name Harry. something about duo um so I don't know if maybe somebody's gonna try and like um FaceTime you or something like that <laughs> I heard something like I don't know if you'll answer <laughs> so I don't know if that's something your person says or um you're saying there could be like a business meeting type thing could be for some I feel like this person's looking for a way in I see CIA, so I feel like this person's as good with their, uh, their digging as the CIA. So they might be really um, looking you up online, trying to find out what you're up to. I don't know if this is the type of person that would get a PI, but maybe. Um, like if you don't have a lot out there um, with your information, or you could be doing this, trying to figure out if this person is on the up and up. Maybe you're a little afraid to step into something. I hear gag and I I feel like the, the gag is, or the funny thing is, I feel like this person is just literally doing their own thing. I feel like this person is on the up and up. I feel like they have good intentions or that's what they find out about you off of Yucas. So it could go either way. I do hear the name Dennis. I hear Michael or Mitchell. I hear Ed. I hear Raquel or Rocky. I hear pet or person, could be. Something about you, you ends. Oh, okay, Um, I heard ends, so um, E-N-D-S. Anyway, so um, I don't know if this person was just looking into you because they wanted to know if you ended a situation with your past person. Um, maybe they knew about somebody you were dating in the past. Um, I hear something about irritability or irritable. I don't know if they thought you were irritable, maybe in the past. Um, maybe you were going through something and you were irritable. I don't know. Uh, maybe this person has been pretty irritable because they're waiting on information or they're waiting to move forward. Like I keep seeing that charity in uh, that charity, mm -hmm. that chariot in the reverse. Um, yeah. So not giving to, um, and they can't give to it until it's in the upright. Okay. We'll just, all right. So we have a D and N, a two. I wanted to say S. So an S and a J. All right, what do we have for all of you guys here? What do we have? Okay, wow. That's a lot. Okay, I heard something about a helping hand, but I do think this is handmade. 
you know, somebody could be coming in with a gift and it could be something they've made specifically for you with you in mind. Um, yeah, I feel like this person with that little uh, chair up there. I feel like this person has kind of been struck by Cupid. Um, and it could have been for a while now. I feel like this person maybe knows what you like or knows what you're into and has maybe crafted something for you. I don't know. I, I do see something like woodworking or um, somebody who builds things. So that could be something. I'm seeing something that looks like this uh, light post with a lamp at the top. And it's got like rope around it and it's got a little, um, I guess it's a seagull on there. So it was like kind of beachy-esque, like a, a lamp, a lamp post, but it was kind of beachy and it looked like maybe somebody had made that. Um, doesn't have to be specifically that, but that's what I was seeing. Um, yeah, I do feel like this person is reaching out to you in that way. I feel like they're a very giving person. Um, I feel like that might actually be kind of foreign to you as well. I feel like maybe you're not used to people gifting you things and maybe you're a little worried. But I feel like this person has really good intentions. I feel like this person is very sweet on you. Um, they could be trying to communicate that, but I feel like I hear to no avail. So it's like um, the communication is very quiet or it's just not being spoken in a language that you understand. And I'm, I'm hearing like person to bat so it's like just not being spoken in a way that you're kind of recognizing I feel like that might change because I'm kind of seeing it go through almost a portal and come out on the other end and it's something like like um kind of like a channeling it comes through divine speak and then it transitions into physical words so um the the channel can share the message right so it's kind of like that I feel like um maybe divine's going to help this person find their voice or find the right words um because I feel like whatever the situation is with this person they really I mean like their heart beats and I feel like this is somebody whose heart pounds every time you're near like it's it's so cute it's it's such a crush type energy and it's such a fun energy. I don't know if this person's having fun uh, when their heart is pounding and they're nervous, but I feel like if it gets past that point, I feel like it'll be a really fun connection. Yeah, there's a ton of, um, I always see this as almost like a lightning or like a, like a lightning rod or like a um, electricity. So there's a ton of chemistry um, and vibes going back and forth here. I don't know if this person views you as their North Star or as a star in general. They see you as being extremely unique. Yeah, I feel like you have the key to this person's heart. Um, they're busy on trying to figure out a way to get close to you. They see you as a soulmate. They want health, wealth, and happiness with you. Like I said, here's that communication. Um, we do have some sneakiness. I wanted to say... Uh, I swear these happiness haters, they just wiggle their way in. Um, I feel like this person wants a forever with you. And I feel like here's this happiness hater trying to be clever about how they're going to strike or how they're going to kind of get in here. I feel like with all of this going on, they don't have a chance. Um, so I wouldn't worry about any outside distractions. I feel like the good that's coming in for you off Yukis is meant for you. And I feel like nothing and no one, no matter who they are uh, or how much pull they assume that they have, will be able to stop this indefinitely. It will come through. When Divine wants it to come through, it comes through. Um, yeah. So that is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.